and he loved you enough to stay on the cross. Was there ever such love as that when he could have been rescued and taken back to heaven and to sit on his throne, but he didn't? He said, no, I'm doing it for the joy that is set before me because he saw that he would be raised from the dead. He saw that there would be a gathering in the generations to come of a people for his name that would make up his body. He saw the day when we will reign with him in his kingdom. Yes, they laid him away in a tomb, and that's where Jesus Christ superstar leaves him. But out in Kansas City, some people got hold of the rock opera, and they carried it right on to the next step, the resurrection. And if you don't have the resurrection, you don't have any gospel. Jesus Christ is alive. And when they went out to the tomb that morning, they heard the greatest news the world has ever known. He is not here. He is risen. He is alive today. And the thing that inspired the disciples to turn the world upside down in their day was the resurrection. They went everywhere declaring that Jesus is alive. You know, some of us Christians live as though Jesus is dead. He's not dead. He's alive. Oh, you're going through your troubles and your trials and your temptations and your testings and your pressures and you're under satanic attack all the time, constantly. You know, I think it, in many ways, in some ways, it's easier not to be a Christian in this world because the devil may leave you alone. The moment you receive Christ as Savior, you're in for it unless you live on your knees and live in the Scriptures and keep your guard up and have your spiritual armor on at all times. Because if you let down even one day as a Christian, you're in trouble. The moment you receive Christ, you see all the world is going this way. You turn around and start against the tide as a Christian. And that's hard. But you know, it's hard to be a sinner too, the older you get, because the Bible says the way of the transgressor is hard. I watch sometimes the programs on television where they have crime. I have never in my life seen criminals work so hard for the money they get. It looks like to me they could get a legitimate business and have a much easier time to get their money. They work at it. That is according to the script, and I'm sure they do in real life. Jesus Christ is alive. And if he's not risen from the dead, if he's not alive, then there is no such thing as Christianity. We're yet in our sins, Paul said, and the whole thing's a farce. Forget it. And then the people that have received Christ, what has happened to them? We had uh, a fellow here the other night that was a Black Panther leader. He said that he thought he could change the world through the Black Panther movement until he said he met Jesus. And he said Jesus changed his life and took all the hate out. And now he said, I believe the world can be changed, but he said, I believe it can be done with Jesus' power.